What's up you guys? You're watching Sergio. Before I get started with today's video guys, I've been posting a lot of videos on TikTok. So if you do want to watch me on TikTok, I post about one to three videos a day. I try to comment with people, be a little bit more interactive. I do want to say that I am on TikTok. All the links for everything that I talk about in today's video, as you guys know, I come through with the link. And if they have, if I have a promo code, I believe I have a Farfetch code, you can use them with some of the items that I purchase. And you guys know I always kind of search it if there's a lower price somewhere. I always try to find everywhere. We have La Roe, we have Cabo Beauty, we have Tory Burch, we have Gucci, we have um, Off-White. We have a lot of fun brands on this video. So let's go ahead and get started with today's But A lot of you guys don't know, I posted a video of my favorite items from the Tory Burch Spring event, which is this video. By the time I upload this video, unfortunately, that sale has already ended. So I, I will leave a link down below if you just want to know some of my favorite spring styles from Tory Burch. I was in Dallas and I ended up picking up a handbag a boot and an earring the boots had to get transferred from a store in tampa and then my essay from toy birch is going to send them um, they're going to ship them to north park which is in dallas toy birch boutique and they're going to ship them to me so um, i'll leave uh, that essay contact linked down below if you're interested but the earrings i ended up giving them to my aunt because it was her birthday and these this is the handbag that i ended up buying I saw this was on my i believe my winter wish list or what i want for christmas video and this was on my come shop with me the toy birch um winter uh, sell event and so I finally have it I bought it and I was like should I buy it should I not and I said you know what Sergio should I or should I not and I thought about you know what this is tweed is low-key or kind of like this material you can look at kind of get away with wearing it with spring especially if you do wear like lighter colors you can get away with it but this is a bag that you can get a lot of wear even though next year if you guys know for accessories, I don't mind. I hate to really buy them off season. Pieces, I don't mind. Shoes, I don't mind. But actual like sunglasses, handbags, and things like that, I prefer to buy them when they're in season. So here's a lovely Toy Birch uh, shopping bag. Beautiful packaging. Um, every time I go to the Toy Birch store, they do free packaging. I always ask them, can you please package it? Because I want to box it beautifully with you guys. And that's why I always prefer to shop from the Toy Birch website versus like department stores just because you do get more of that elevated experience so um here it is we're gonna unwrap it and yes i already kind of like used it a little bit this is still available so if you are interested in it you can still get it um here it is it's gonna go in my closet and it's just gonna have so many toy birch like boxes and stuff like that i just love it because it kind of, it kind of looks like a, a toy birch stock room in my closet if you guys have not seen my closet tour um which i'll also leave linked down below so here it is we're gonna open it up beautiful classic toy birch dust bag to reveal my toy birch fleming handbag in this beautiful kind of like weed material and so i'm going to give you the actual name of this bag so associate that helped me her name is kelly like i said i'll leave all of her information linked down below here is my receipt and so this is called the small shoulder bag this one was 19 on sale. I had the 30% off, so I ended up paying 293 from 598. And you guys know during the winter event, um, this handbag was excluded. So even if it was, even if I did get it, I would have would have had to pay the $600 straight up. Um, the boots that I did get, um, which I'll show you guys. Um, since I unbox things on my Instagram, so if you want to follow me on Instagram as well, these are the boots. They are the kind of like the Lee Raswell kind of boot. They have the Lee Raswell hardware. I do want to purchase the mini Lee Raswell handbag. That's a handbag. That's probably the next one that I will purchase from Troy Birch. I find that at this point, I already have nylon. I have Ella. I have T Monogram. I have Fleming. I have Kira. Um, Eleanor. So I already have like a lot of the lines. Um, I have Walker. So I think that. The Lee Roswell is definitely going to be the next one. And so I got these boots and these ones ended up being $167.30 from um, $528. So I thought that was a pretty great deal and the earrings were just full price, which were $78. And this is the earrings that I bought just in case if you're interested and they have a beautiful pro detail. My mom does have those and she does like them. So that's why I decided to give it to my aunt. But my total for all those three items was $5.83 with four cents. Um, I thought it was a really great deal considering that this bag itself is $598. So here it is guys. It is in this beautiful kind of material. Um, I knew that this bag was not going to be like an everyday bag. This was not going to be a dinner bag. This was going to be a bag that I would use during the day. And I, I just, I fell in love with this bag. Like I said, if you guys saw my review, you guys already know how much I've been wanting to get this bag. As you can see, look at the beautiful detail of the tee. I love the fabric. I wish it did have feet at the bottom just because it is fabric. I wish it would, they would have included that, but that's totally fine. Like I said, I have 
have so many white handbags in my collection that I don't mind if one of them doesn't have feet or you know if, if this is not a bag that I use every day just because I'm already at the point in my collection especially in white handbags that um, I can get away with having a handbag like this and not use it every day as a beautiful chain and honestly the quality of this chain the beautiful leather throughout it is phenomenal well like look at the beautiful leather like I said I've always think that Trey Birch bags are always very well made it has a little clasp here it is magnetic and the older Flemings used to have a little button where you had to open it um, this one's just magnetic so um, I packed it to the rim a little bit one of the days and it didn't come out but it is a pretty strong magnet if you ask me and it has more of this smoother leather interior and this is how the inside looks like um, it has a pocket right here and then in the pocket in the front it's lined with this beautiful leather detail and then it is fabric lined and then it has a pocket in the middle that has a zipper which can fit a nice card case you can't fit a decent amount inside of it and then it does have a back pocket and with a zipper and it does have the toy birch little branding right there instead of getting it i was not expecting to get it i was expecting to get a whole other bag uh, let me move it around and yeah i mean i love it the way i'm going to be carrying this bag is going to be through the front um just so you can kind of see a little bit more of the branding and this is not um kind of looking when i take pictures and stuff well, i finally got it and if you guys have been following me since christmas this is a bag that i did want to get so i'm more than happy to have it in my collection and i can finally um like put the packaging up and i can finally put it in all my white handbag wall and like i said it may not be for the rest i, I, could, I will still use this for the spring season but as far as summer and fall, probably not. I see this more as a winter slash um, spring bag. And I love it. You guys know I really, really wanted that. I really, really wanted the boots. Those were on my list already. And those were items that I already got. So I'm super, super happy to have them. And Lee Roswell will probably be my next River handbag. Just so I have them as a matching set. And as far as the riding boots, um, I can get a lot of wear on them. Just because they are just kind of like that classic everyday riding boot. Hey, I hate me caga comprar off-season pieces but I don't know I still kind of have this on my mind what do you think guys me caga I hate to buy off-season pieces but I've always had my eye on this one oh they they redid them I think yeah they re they redid the Miller sandals they're all different now see they don't have any hardware on them but I like that it looks like her living room. Mm. Well, not her living room. I just like how it looks very different. Because the electronics are super cute. I don't know how you, how do you guys feel about these. I I kind of like them. They're like not for, bad. I just I, I just want them for the pool because yeah. all my other sides I feel like would get dirty. Oh, these are cute. Oh, those are cute too. I wonder how much these are. I think those are 178. Really? These are 158. But these are part of the 30% off at the Toy Bird store. Girl. Yeah, we should. So we gotta go to the store? Yeah, because they're not gonna price match it here. Like how they displayed it all. Like they put all the sell stuff in the second room. So when you work retail, it's like room one, room two, and room three. Usually you're gonna put your like better products in room three because it makes people want to walk through the entire store. I cannot believe I'm buying that bag. I hate Mekaga. When I tell you Mekaga to buy full price items, I don't like to buy them. I like that she's also incorporating a lot of silver hardware within a lot of her handbags. When I told you they did the Kira and the larger hardware, like look how pretty that is. And then they also did them in the mini Kira uh, camera bags. And then they have the little Lee with the diamond quilted stitch on them. I love, love, love. If you want kind of like that Saint Laurent kind of style blue, um, I think the Kira flap is five ninety eight, and I think it's a phenomenal choice. Um, here's a little bit more of the T monogram items. Um, they did this one in a denim, which I really want to add if it was part of the sale. Oh my god, like, look at this. This is definitely a wishes. I love denim. This is definitely something that I would kill to have in my collection. I think it's absolutely stunning. But I already have so many handbags on the way. But I love, love, love that one. I think that is absolutely beautiful but here's some of the full price items that they have right, they have two of the lees right here with a little whip stitch detail i love this woven eleanor it's gorgeous beautiful. 
Got some of the classic flamings. This brown is gorgeous. And they actually made the chain a little bit bigger. It's, it's a pretty kind of like Chanel 19 brown. I love this one with the contrast of the white stitching. It's beautiful. Let me do these pro earrings as well to buy the gift. Oh my god, these are really pretty. These are the ones that I have. And I like those. This is person Zapato Chanel. 328. Que preciosas son estas. These are the Chanel sneakers all day, every day. It's from Gucci, and this is actually a repair item. And I just kind of want to talk to my experience within the repair system. So I ended up buying this when I was at Nordstrom. I was an employee there. When I went to the Gucci store here in Houston to get it repaired, I should have told them I bought them when I was an employee. I don't have a purchase history just because, well, I do have a purchase history, but this wasn't on the purchase history. And so the beautiful lady over there, she ended up taking it for repair. I did not know how much I was going to have to pay for this um, because one of the little details right here, so this little piece of metal, um, I guess, I don't know, maybe, I guess I was pulling at it and so I had pulled out and as you can see, it is not an easy fix. You have to like stitch it throughout it perfectly and you have to make sure it looks good. Taking it for repair and it did take a little bit. I took it in January and I just now got it and so I'm super, super happy and when I went to go pick it up in the store, um, they never told me if there was a charge with this hat and they told me it was free so i'm super super happy that i didn't have a per well i did buy it from an authorized retailer nordstrom but i didn't have like an actual gucci purchase history and yet they accommodated it they were able to take it for repair and i didn't have to pay for the repair so i will say i'm super super happy to have this hat back i highly recommend it i got a quite bit of wear since this fell off this fell off when i was in arizona so it took me forever to take it or i would always be like i'll take it later i'll take it whenever and then like i, I like an errand that i run like a, like a month or two ago i ended up taking it and now i got it back it is perfectly fine it is reversible i love this bucket hat so much i believe it's 590 dollars I think it's well worth it and like I said I wore it a lot in the summertime and this is going to go well with a lot of the spring outfits especially um, since I do have kind of like a cleaner style so something like this doesn't really clash a whole whole lot because of my outfits a little bit more simple and so I went for the repair I picked it up I was maybe expecting to pay maybe $35 maybe $100 but it was free so I appreciate Gucci for taking care of that and I had a small bag they put a shopping bag for me and they took care of me so um, this really puts a great mouth on the brand of Gucci and Curring. That's why I always tell you guys, I like to buy items from Curring Group. So Balenciaga, Saint Laurent, Gucci, um, those brands, Bottega Veneta, because they really um, take care of their items. They really stand behind their items. And if this was purchased from another house, um, I think the results would have been completely different. So I appreciate Curring as a family company. I feel like they take care of the clients and they stand behind the quality of their items. And so that's why I always prefer to buy Curring brands versus other luxury houses if you guys know what i mean so gucci uh, hat super super happy to have this back in my collection item this is the only beauty item this is the necessaire body lotion i ran out of this i should have honestly waited for the sephora bib sale but honestly i ran out i will be purchasing some items from the sephora bib so i'll probably take make a i'll probably make out what i'm gonna buy um on a tiktok video so that's why you said follow me on tiktok so you guys can see um uh, that process over there it's just a great body lotion i've talked about this many many times and why it's just because it has no fragrance on it and i like that it does not have a fragrance because it does not interfere with the um uh, fragrance that i'm actually wearing so if i'm wearing byredo tom ford girl whatever chanel um, I like that this does not interfere with my fragrance Bull moisturizing body lotion so if you are into uh, one I think this is really great and I think this is really great to purchase through the um, Sephora sale so I highly recommend it I just really needed it I could not wait for the sale and it's a perfect body lotion and that I recommend this lotion they tend to really really love it so I did want to go ahead and mention it it's actually moving quite fast um, the next item, if you guys didn't see the newest, hottest, best designer sell store in Houston, I'll leave that video linked down below. It's definitely worth a watch because I mentioned these beautiful shoes. 
and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you them um, just because I want you guys to know if you do live in the Houston area this is a beautiful and phenomenal store to go to I didn't know um, I have these sandals that I bought um, at the Row boutique in LA last year you guys know that this was another wishlist item something that I've had wanting to purchase for such a long time these are the Ginza thong sandals that have a little bit of platform on them and so I ended up buying these from the Row boutique I was actually going between this and the other pair so the SA from the Row boutique in LA told me that I should go for these ones because these ones are going to wear a little bit better a little nicer all the time as you can see even the black ones have imprint and so I ended up buying these these I did pay full retail you guys don't I I'm kind of a little bit of a savvy shop I prefer to get a little bit more of a deal that's just me and so I bought them I paid $7.90 plus tax I bought like eight 60 or something happy with them i've been wearing them non-stop and best to believe this spring and summer season um this is going to be a best thing to wear if you guys recommend a really good nail salon to get my feet and my nails done just like a regular manicure and pedicure in houston preferably and kind of like montrose galleria area um definitely let me know um so i ended up getting these i love them and so um i ended up going to this store called ual like i said i'll leave the other video link down below because i explain it more i was going in there and I, these are the original ones that i wanted um and these are the ginza thong sandal and these are beautiful look at them they are a beautiful cream color uh it's gorgeous and it has this beautiful kind of kind of suede material throughout the shoe and the guy just told me if you take these to the pool this suede, this material is going to get messed up um the white will leave imprints and so he just wanted to watch out for me and so i did not end up buying them even though these are the ones that i originally wanted and so um i ended up finding them there and i was like oh i wonder what size they are when i first saw them i thought they were like maybe like a dupe because a lot of brands do do dupes of these so they're probably like a rag and bone dupe and there's nothing wrong with contemporary because you know i wear contemporary but i was like these are not the rogues and i saw them and i gasped then i saw the size and they are a size 41 so they are my actual size and so i tried them on and I, they fit me perfectly so i said you know what hell yes i'm gonna go home with them and i bought them so now i have the black ginza sandal which i wore the hell out of last year now i have the white ginza sandal and so i'm super happy you guys know i'm very much a creature of i like to have things as two and so i saw them and i said yes 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 these ones retailed for 790 dollars which is not true these have had two price increases since the 790 price tag they went from 790 to 890 to 925 so the current price of these are 925 dollars on the row websites Saks, and wherever else they carry these so um i ended up getting them and i got them from 237 from basically 925 they came in the box and they came with absolutely everything the dust bag and they were brand new nothing wrong with them and i manifested them you guys know i've been wanting these for such a long time and you know it makes the black ones more worth my while because i can kind of feel like i'm in sandal piece i have the row toy birch jemito rossi alaya and hermes so i feel like i'm totally fine with sandals for the rest of the year in that vlog that i want to cowboy boots which is going to be the next shoes that i'm going to show you so um let's move on to the next shoes the day that i went in dallas i ended up going to neiman marcus in troy birch and i had already spent like a pretty penny i would say already like a thousand dollars so i was like you know what sergio and that's what i initially planned to spend should probably talk a little bit more about budget let me let me know if you guys want to see that so i said you know what sergio a thousand dollars you're cut off <laughs> i told my friend i told my cousin he's like here's my credit card take it ya acabo de comprar cosas and we went to cavenders which we should have went there first because i wouldn't have not I wouldn't have not purchased some of, uh, you know, I'm going to say everything that I did purchase, I love. So, you know, regardless, I would have still bought everything. Um, so I saw these boots and I said, you know what? They're not a bad price point and I'm going to buy them. So I went to Cavenders and I did check on the website. These are still available and these are such a great price point and the quality of these are really great. So these kind of remind me of a pair of Jeffrey Camel shoes, which are out on the market. Um, they are about $265, but when I felt them at Nordstrom, I just feel like they were not worth that price point. I love Jeffrey Camel's shoes, but a lot of them can be hit, hits or misses as far as the quality. And I'm being honest with you guys. You guys know I'm always going to keep it real. And I just didn't feel like spending that much money because at the end of the day, they're not real cowboy boots. At the end of the day, they're not getting them from a cowboy store. They're cowboy inspired boots, but they're not cowboy boots. So that's why that was my mind process. 
And so I was like, you know what? My cousin was buying some boots. My friend was buying clothes. And I was like, you know what? Let me look. And I was like, I'm not sure. I don't think I want to buy them. Because some of them, a lot of the cowboy boots in men's and women's, they look like more cowboyish. Like I could not go out and wear them with things that I already have in my style. Like my, I need to be in clothes, you know, a lot of my clean, fresh clothes. Like I feel like they were too country as of now for my style or too kind of westerny. And, or, and so that's why I didn't go. And then I kind of walked through the aisle, walked through men's. I was like, you know what? I don't care for them. Cause I always felt like since I had a wider foot, the women's ones were gonna be a little bit, they were not gonna fit me. And then I saw these ones and they fit me and I said, oh yes, baby, these are gonna come home with me. <laughs> Usually one is like harder than the other. So huh? I wish they have, a, do they have a mirror? Oh yeah, they do. They're so cute. You know, some Caras are only 125. There were some Jeffrey Campbell ones for like 300 and these look like way better quality. I love them. I am taking them. And I ended up wearing them Friday night, Saturday night, and I believe Sunday night. Well, like the entire day. So I ended up wearing these Friday night in uh, place, me and my cousin. And then I wore them all Saturday. And then I wore them um, for a Sunday to meet up with my uncle. So I did wear them basically the three days. And they are from a brand called Old West. And these babies are good quality. They're a little dirty because I didn't wear them the last few days. I honestly should have buffed them out and gave them a better appearance on camera. But as you can see, <laughs> I did wear them the three days. And these babies were $124.99. And so I did check on the website. There are $130. Um, but, I, but I did pay $125. So I don't know why they were $5 less in store. Maybe they had a price increase online. And so I bought them, the, they own, the largest size is a size 10 and the size 10 honestly fit me perfectly. The first night I wore them with um, shorts and I'll show you here, um, the boot kit kind of riding up. So we did kind of leave marks on both of my legs. But other, other than that, I mean, they've been fitting comfortably and pretty, pretty well. I, 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 you know, they had a little bit of wear the first day, but other than that, they fit perfectly. I wore them with socks and they are the perfect Western boot. They look like they're gonna wear me really well for the rest of the year. Um, I believe this brand does have like brown ones. I do wanna add brown, but honestly, I don't really reach for a lot of brown shoes. I reach for a lot of brown handbags, but not a lot of brown shoes and a lot of brown clothing. So I'm gonna see how I wear these a lot. I see, I, you can see I wore them three days in a row. Um, I know I'm gonna wear, I wish I would've bought these for the rodeo when I went to go see Gwen Stefani in concert, um, but I didn't have time that day. But honestly, I'm gonna love them. You're gonna see me style them with shorts. You're gonna be styling them with denim, with pants. So be prepared, because I've been wanting a pair of cowboy boots for the longest. Great quality, 130 online. I thought that was a pretty, like that's a really great price compared to Jeffrey Campbell. And honestly, like the quality of these ones are a, are a lot better. And they're like half the price and this is a brand that is known for cowboy boots and so i know they're not like ariat they're not more of the expensive boots but the other ones just didn't suit my style if these would have been 250 or 260 i would have still bought them just because they were my style versus the other ones i just felt like i was not going to get the wear out of them and when i tried them on everybody at cavenders was like oh my god they're so nice they're so pretty so i ended up getting getting them and i'm more than happy with them and um I wore them with my little gay cowboy hat and I was living the fantasy, the Brokeback Mountain fantasy. That's why everybody kept telling me the, the, the three the three days that I kept wearing. My friend was like, what in the Brokeback Mountain are you wearing? But he really liked the outfit. And I got so many, so many, so many, so many compliments on it. And yeah, love, love, love these boots and definitely one of my top favorites. Ready to wear pieces. Um, and I did steam all these clothes before I showed them, except the shorts. So, I do recommend the cheese steamer. It's very nice and easy and simple to use. I'll leave it linked down below. I've had it for about like four months now, five months now, and it's worked magic and it's really nice and portable. Um, but the first thing are these aloe shorts. Um, I just wanted, I've, I've been waiting for short aloe to come out with shorts. You know, I'm not a big fan of their skorts. I'm not a big fan of a lot of like, their kind of like ribbed leggings. And so I kind of wanted um, something that was like this material in shorts and because it washes well and it lasts better over time. So I took these in a size small. These are women's and yeah, I love aloe. I have a lot of aloe workout stuff. So that's why I bought them. So I do want to show you that I did buy these workout sets and um, you guys know I don't wear Lululemon workout clothes, but my favorite brands for working out. These are ALC and A6 and then, and because my, a I find that 
when I had a when I was bigger, I find that my foot isn't as chunky, so my ALCs fit. I bought those. Say APL, not ALC, the clothing brand APL, as in the running shoes. <laughs> my apologies. And they used to hurt like when I was bigger, but I feel like my foot shrunk a little bit, like the width of it, so they fit comfortably now. And A6 oh, has always worked for me, so those are my two favorite workout brand shoes. Clothing, I really love Sweaty Betty, and I really really love Aloe. Those are my two kind of like to go. I may wear other brands, but those are my to go brands. And so um, I do have um, these little aloe shorts which I thought I would show you. And then I also bought a yoga mat, which is kind of gross. It's in my car, so I don't want to show you that mat just because I do take yoga classes with one of my friends. Um, the next two items are from Neiman Marcus um, Last Call. And these are two items. And you guys know I love Neiman Marcus. Look at my purchase that I got on Last Call right now. So this is what I ended up getting. Well, I got this for um, somebody special in my life. So this is the dust bag for it. I saw it, I just like knew I had to have it. So, well not for me. And it's like in perfect condition. So this is the Christian Louboutin Kabata Toe. And this one's in the classic um, size. This one's the one that's 1350. Iconic Christian Louboutin red bottom. It came with the pouch, the original dust bag and everything. And this is in the uh, new pack color, and this one was $6.75 from $13.50, so it was about half off. And it's really, really pretty, but I want to show you the bag that I got um, because I think it's really worth it. So I'm going to go back in there. I just bought this por pasadita, but I didn't really get a chance to look at the clothes and stuff because my friends were hungry. Well, my cousins were hungry, and so that's what I went to do, but... When it comes to like bags and stuff like this, if I already know like I'm gonna like it or use it, I go, I just kind of go ahead and buy it right then and there. I don't like to like put it on hold. I don't like to wait. Just one time it happened where like I put it on hold and then um, somebody else bought it by accident. So whenever I look for a seat, you guys know I'm very insecure about the front. Um, of my body. I just that's always been my most insecurity That's why you always kind of see me wear jackets and blazers even in the summertime and I can say and I can admit it But I found these two tops that I could wear either by itself or with uh, something underneath The first item is this Altazora top and this one is in a size C. I have the tags right here This is in a size 10 and a size 42 and I wanted it because I didn't want it to fit super crop. I wanted to be able to wear high-waisted jeans and it still be a little box. And it has a beautiful button. And a lot of my white shirts are long sleeves. I don't really have a uh, kind of short sleeve top. It has these beautiful buttons right here. And then it has a top. And then it has these beautiful pearl details. I did do an outfit of the day. When I did wear this, I bought this on Friday and I wore it on Saturday. And I'll put that right here. So I always see you guys to follow me on TikTok. Okay guys, I'm the first one at brunch as always, so I'm gonna give you outfit of the day. Um, I'm in Dallas this weekend, so hat is Brixton, it's the Fisherman hat, Prada runway glasses. This top is from Altazora, Aquazora, it's a really nice brand. It has these beautiful pearl details. My bag is my black Bottega Veneta Jody, Hermes belt, my jeans are girlfriend, and then these boots are from New West and I got them at Cavendish yesterday. And this is my outfit of the day, and I love this top. It's super, super cute. Um, the ready tour was already heavily discounted. I was with my cousins, and they, you guys know I like to take a long time when I'm shopping, so I was a little bit in a rush, but I did find two great items. This one originally retailed for $4.95. And I got it for $123 and I had 20% off of it. So basically over 80% off on a classic white top that's a little bit crop. Has these little pearl details. Altazora. I have like another piece from the brand and it holds up pretty, pretty well. And I know this shirt's gonna get so much wear with a lot of denim, you know, black trousers, things that I already have in my wardrobe. You guys know I always wear white t-shirts or white button-ups. So I felt like adding another one to deal would not hurt. And I don't have a short sleeve one or a crop one. So I feel like this one would do me well. And I've already worn this two times since I purchased. A good purchase is when you want to wear it right then and there. I've worn it everything that I'm showing you guys except the row sandals just because I'm waiting for it to get a little hotter. And I do know when the white's going to get a little dirty. So I do kind of want to wait to wear them for a trip and when it gets a little bit hotter because I have not worn sandals out out and about just yet. I'm probably going to wait till April or May. Once it starts hitting like 85 up, I'll start wearing sandals. But as of now, I have not worn any sandals in, in, in this year out in public. This Altazora top is 123. It's so cute. Oh, I like this top too. This Takoma means simple pero. It's like a good basic.
Then I saw this top as well. Um, this is an off-white top. I normally wouldn't have went for this, but my friend saw it. I was on FaceTime with my friend. Ooh, I have a love-hate relationship with off-white. Some of it's a little too extra, a little bit too much for my tasting, but I feel like this had a little bit too much, but in my personal style, black, white, um, a button-up, which I like. I can wear it by itself. I can wear it with a bodysuit. And this is well, and it goes well with black jeans or blue jeans. And so I, I went for it. I like the print. I like how it's the X. I like in the back. Like I just like the uniqueness of the print. And I like that it's a print that I can get away with wearing a little bit more than let's say like a Burberry checkered print or some of the other printed tops that I have. And I just struggle to find just tops that I like. And something about like the details of everything. It has a little off-white branding right here. I like that it's very minimal. I like that you actually have to see that it's off-white. And so I saw it, the material was very, very well. Uh, this material is going to wash really well. I steamed it out and it steamed pretty well. And I also washed this in the washing machine. And I had a, a, my friend, some of my girlfriends like to like, you know, I'm a little bit on the taller side. My girlfriends are shorter. And so like they get foundation stains and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I got foundation stains the first day of me wearing it. I washed it, I put a little OxyClean and it all came off. And I also like this because this material, I knew that I didn't have to pay to get it uh, clean. The Altazora top, I'll probably take it dry clean to their incentive. And this one I got for a really great deal. This one retailed for 900, I got it for 225 and then I got 20% off of it. And so, like I said, in, like in that TJ Maxx vlog, I just struggle to find tops a lot. I tend to wear the same tops a lot. So I'm happy that I found two ones that are button up that I love that are not blazers. So I'm super happy. So, I mean, it's a win-win in my book. And I mean, this is $900, the other one's $500. So that's $1,400 and I think I paid maybe three something for both of them, which I felt like was a really, really great deal. And these are items that I'll, that I'll have forever and these are items that I can bring season after season. Got these jeans um, from A. Goldie. These ones are in a size 26. I got these ones, Zach's, size 26. They are the high-waisted 90s Pinch Me. I just wanted some nice kind of off kind of cream denim. I did get them. I always get these dirty the first time I wear them. But like I said, I recently have been trying to use OxyClean. And honestly, guys, OxyClean, you put a little bit in the load, comes everything comes right off. There's no stainage, nothing. And I tend to get more stainage from the back right here. I guess wherever like I'm sitting, um, I tend to get stainage from like the restaurants or like if I'm at a, like a family party, I find that like... Maybe the seats are have a little bit of dust and stuff like a Mexican party when they do like those rental chairs. I have an off cream and denim pant that I love. It's gonna be something you'll be seeing me wear off uh, throughout the season and then off fall and winter. And this one can work with my Farfetch code, Sergio15, because uh, they do have this available on the Farfetch app. Are these girlfriend jeans that have this cut off? Um, I'm just a sucker for denim. I didn't have one this color. These ones retailed for $228 and I got them for $65. And then these ones, I got them at that UAL store from the same place where I got the row sandals. And these are just some nice jeans that I can wear and they go really well. And I wore this with the Altazora top and the cowboy boots and everything went really, really well. And so I love these jeans and I love jeans that have a no stretch because I find that they wear and they're a lot nicer over time. Everybody's dying, you guys. So I did want to show you, I want to show you my phone case because I've been getting a lot of questions. So you guys know I hate phone cases and um, I always, um, I always crack my phone. So this is a little like to know it pop socket. I did get this from the like to know it team. So um, this one um, you cannot purchase, but I'm talking about the actual phone case. This is from Caseify. It actually has genuine leather and, it's, and I put a screensaver and it's been holding up really, really well. This make They make this phone case in many different sizes. And at first I thought the leather was gonna get a lot of wear or like color transfer, but honestly, it looks really, really good. And so if you are looking for a nice leather case, this one I believe is $65. And I think, and I did get 10% off because I did sign up with their emails. And then, um, but other than that, it's been holding up really, really well. So if you are looking for a nice phone case, I'm very, very picky about phone cases. I don't like things. I used to get a lot of the clear ones, but then they would get dirty very easily. And I would hate to spend like $20, $30 on cases like every couple weeks. This one I've had for like well over a month and I find that this is going to last me for till I get my next upgrade later in the fall or in the winter. And so I highly recommend it. So if you are in the market for a nice phone case, they have these leathers in a bunch of styles. I'll leave them linked down below. Um, everything in this video was paid for myself. Nothing was sponsored or anything just to disclose that. 
Um, I want to say thank you, thank you so much for watching this haul. Let me know, let me know what you guys think. I am a love and I'm obsessed with everything. I cannot wait to show you the Lee Roswell boots once I get them. Everything will be linked down below. I want to say thank you, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I love and appreciate you so much. Let's make the best of April, regardless of this. Uh, this is a couple of days before April or in the month of April. Um, let's make this month count, guys. Love you, love you so much. The grind and the hustle never stops. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, my friends.